Okay, can we come over here and hide from him for a second? In fact, you know what? Let's just see if we can de-escalate because... Um, oh, now he's all the way in here. Not good. Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to continue working on some upgrades. And uh, we're also going to sell a couple of things, too. So, um, infra knife, that we're going to sell. I think we're going to sell all of these B-class modules for nanites. The cyclotron uh, ballista, we're going to hang on to that for now. One of you guys told me in the comments that this is really good for taking starship shields down. Advanced mining laser package. I think we can't use that. I think we have to sell that, but we'll double check. Um, and then this is uh, the scatter blaster mod that we're going to do for our um, multi tool. Okay, so let's go to the multi tool first. And we want to make a scatter blaster. So to do that, we need 200 pugnium and one wiring loom. Um, and we do not have that, so we're going to have to mix it up. I mean, we could either buy it or we could mix it up with some, uh, some sentinels uh, to get some more of that. That we have to wait for uh, a freighter. Okay, so um, let's... How much money do I have? Oh, I got two million. Okay, let's hop up to the space station and uh, see if we can just purchase the pug name that we need. If, if we still can't get enough, then we'll blow up some sentinels. And I want to, I want to try the the uh, shotgun. Well, it's not called shotgun, but I call it shotgun. Uh, out on the bad guys too. So we've already talked to you, right? Yeah, visited. Okay. What are we doing? Uh, we're here to sell some stuff to get some more nanites which I believe we have to do over here I don't know if it matters which one of these guys we sell to so we'll just talk to this guy okay so purchase upgrade modules go to sell um The thing about this is, you know, I could, I could open these and see what they are. Uh, let's sell that. But if we end up not wanting to use them, then we greatly decrease their value. I've got the the B level shield lattice already, which gives us twenty percent protection. Um, so I guess it's a question of do we. I'm going to give up 560 nanites for a B-level improvement to our shield. I think the answer to that is probably not, particularly since we're not even currently on a hazardous planet, though we will be going back to them, of course. Okay, so let's um, let's sell uh, all of these. Okay, now I think the advanced laser package is just that extra uh, drill. Yeah, and we already have this, so we can't we can't put two on there. So that uh, we will. I guess we have to press escape. Yeah, that we 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 just might as well sell. It's not it's no good to us. Uh, this we want to install on our uh, multi tool. In fact, we can do that now, even though we haven't um, made the blaster yet. Uh, so we'll just put that right there. Now I don't accidentally sell it. Okay, so let's sell this last piece and get a few more nanites here. Sell and sell. Alright, so that gets us up to almost 2,000 nanites, which is great. Okay, and then let's go back over to the other side and check the terminal. Okay, so we can buy... how much to just buy all of this Pugnium? Uh, 
And that, how much does that, that gives us 471. Um, I don't know, maybe we should just go blow up some, some bad guys. We're going to need some wiring, wiring looms too. Um, so yeah, let's, let's actually look at that first. So to make this, we need one wiring loom. We're going to also make this, so we're going to need two more wiring looms. If we decide to make this, we're going to need a total of four wiring looms, right? One, two, three, four, and five to make the shell greaser. Okay. Now, um, let's go to the starship upgrade. We also want to make a positron thingy, so that's another two right there and another two right there so we need to add another four onto that and then we want the economy scanner so that's five more to add I'm not gonna do the warp drives right now and then for exosuit I think we wanted to make this but we don't need wiring looms for either one of those things so we need a total of ten wiring looms okay another reason why I don't want to spend us so much money on the Pugnium because we're just going to go blow up some Sentinels to get that. Okay, so we need 10 of these. 615,000 bucks for that. Gowsers. Okay, let's go back to our base. Okay, we're going to put these wiring looms in here for the moment. Um, let's put the Pugnium back in there. In fact, I'm going to put everything in here, except for our ammo and put this in here. And let's split this. Now the reason I'm doing this is because since I'm playing in survival, my understanding is that if we die in survival mode, we lose some or all of our inventory. And that is no bueno. Um, so we'll have to start with the laser or the bolt caster until we can make this. Okay, so let's piss off a sentinel here. Okay, there's one right down here. Over here, buddy. Oh, wow, those guys didn't take long to, to get over here. Okay. Okay, let's let him get him up here. I kind of want to kill him over here so I can get the green canisters. And I don't want them to fall way down the hill there. So come over here, dummies. Oh, we gotta kill that repair guy first. Yeah, we gotta kill the guy with the wrench. Okay, he did. One of these dudes can call in support too, I think. All right, let's get that. Salvage glass, nice. We can get some good stuff from those. Get back up here so your stuff doesn't roll down the hill, dummies. Okay, so do we have to loot these? I think we're our shield, yeah, that revives our shield. Or can we just shoot those? I'm not sure. Okay, here comes a bunch more. Um, I think we want to shoot these guys first. And you're the guy that calls in more 
reinforcements, I think. Okay, so we'll kill you. Keep an eye on our shield here. Okay, let's reload and go around the corner. We have 90 Pugnium so far. Oh yeah, this is... This is much more efficient for getting Pugnium than just buying it. Once we get the Scatter Blaster, then we'll really be able to put the hurt on these guys. Unfortunately, we're going to have to go all the way down the hill to get the good stuff. No, no repairing allowed. Reload quickly. You're stuck. Too bad for you. Okay, it looks like we get shield back um, just by shooting those. So I don't think we have to actually loot them by hand. Nice. Okay. This has some pretty good range, too. Reload. We might have been too far away for that one. So kill the scout dudes and the repair dudes first. Oh crap. Let's reload. The advantage to this is these they have trouble getting to me um, because, you know, they're down below. Reload. I can't get to that repair guy because he's stuck underneath the thingy. They can't... Oh. Am I actually hitting him? I think I am. Is he being repaired, though? Yeah. The, he's got a repair guy. Can he actually come all the way in here? We gotta get that repair guy out of there. We're not gonna be able to take him out. Come here, you little bastard. It's you that I want to take out. Okay, now... Let's go. Oh, shit! That hurt. Did we damage anything? Exosuit. Nope, we're in good shape. We're fine. And we have... Oh, 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 oh! He's shooting us through the thing! What the heck? can't be healed now, though, so... As soon as we blow this guy... Oh, he is getting healed! Damn it! Damn it, Jim! Okay, what if we switch to the laser? Can we take him out faster than he can be healed? <laughs> this isn't working so well. Okay, can we come over here and hide from him for a second? In fact, you know what? Let's just see if we can de-escalate because... Um, oh, now he's all the way in here. Not good. This is not working so well. He is kind of glitched, though. Yeah, he keeps getting healed by this bastard out here. Go back in here. Now, where's he at? Right here. 
Yeah, now you don't have anybody to heal you. Huh? And you're glitched in my floor, too. Sucks to be you. Got him. Okay, now. Let's just chill and see if we can de-escalate. Actually, let's see if we can make our... Um... Our blaster. Okay, let's grab a wiring loom out of here. Um, here, we'll grab all of them for the moment. Okay, we've got a multi-tool. That makes a scatter blaster. And then let's also make the shell greaser. Uh, we need a magnetic resonator for that, which is in here. Uh, we just happen to have one of those. Oh, wait. No, we need to make a magnetic resonator. Okay, how do we make that? We need... Magnetized ferrite and ionized cobalt, which I don't currently have. Why can I make some? I've got the ferrite, but I don't have the... Uh, I don't have the cobalt stuff. So let's split that. Quickly make some ionized cobalt over here. What was that? Oh, okay. We de-escalated. That was a little intense. Um, okay, so let's make some ionized cobalt there. So we can um, get that other uh, module made on the multi-tool. Uh, which is the greaser. It allows us to reload a little bit faster. And while we're waiting for that, now that we have de-escalated, we should have a whole bunch of uh, loot skis down here, I think. Unless, do they... I don't think they despawn, do they? We destroyed 15 sentinels. That's all? I thought we destroyed more than that. Did they all roll down into the drink? Hmm... I was expecting a whole mess of the canisters down here. Oh no, destroy 30 sentinels. There you go. Okay, that's more like it. It's gonna say, man. OG the Wanted defeated 25 sentinels. I guess those canisters, maybe they despawn because I am not seeing them. All right, fair enough. Maybe there's, a oh, there's one up there, okay. These big holes in the ground are from the kind of grenade thingies those guys were lobbing at me. Salvage glass, good, nanites. And do we get any ammo? Yep, more ammo too. They kind of screwed up our base area a little bit, but that's all right. It's just the way it goes, I suppose. Let's go around to this side and see if there's anything. They're still around, or at least that guy is. That's one of the healer guys. this out of here. Okay, now we should be able to make this. Shell greaser. Oh no, we have to make the resonator first. Okay, now we got a multi-tool and shell greaser. There we go. Okay, so we got a pretty beefy um, shotgun, scatter blaster, and we also have the scatter blaster in the turbo technology supercharged, whatever that actually means. I don't know if it does more damage or shoots faster or what, but that's good. Okay, so now the next thing we want to do is we want to make the analysis visor. So we need to make a quantum computer and three more magnetic resonators. 
I don't have uh, any quantum computers in here. Okay, so what do we need to make that? A microprocessor, antimatter, and chromatic metal. Carbon nanotubes. Microprocessor there. And an antimatter. There it is. Uh, we need condensed carbon and more chromatic metal. All right. Um, let's grab all of that copper and get some more chromatic metal. I need to. I, I did run out to the to the mine and grab some copper while I was out there. And it hadn't completely filled up, but I just topped it off and took whatever I had. I love this free refining in terms of power. Okay, I think... Excuse me. While we're waiting, let's actually go grab some more copper out of that mine. Uh, out of that harvester thingy. Whatever. Whatever it's called. Harvester thingy mine. Uh, I think we're done with combat for the moment, so I want... Well, we don't really need any of that stuff in our inventory at the moment. Let's just put that back. Summon. Okay, I have no equipment on this guy yet. Nope, stay away from the trees. Don't hit the trees. Okay, so that copper mine is basically due south of their base. Alright, let's hop out here. South, and it's gonna be that's a pair of pinium silver, silvers. It could be that one, but I don't, I don't remember it being that far away. Uh, I think it's this one here. I probably need to get one of those um, marker map marker thingamadoodles. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be this one here. For these. This craft is just absolutely annihilates anything in its path. It's crazy. Uh, have we just. Yeah, we've already been here. It's funny, too, the minor thing he doesn't show up while you're in the vehicle. You have to get out of it for it to show up. Why do you only have one thing of copper? That doesn't make sense. Well, now it's now it's working. Let's just see. Okay, so I just want to make make sure this. I, I don't know why that. It burned the fuel, but it only gave me one copper for all that fuel that I lost. Because last time I was out here, I completely topped this off. Are these buggy? Okay, we got two. Let's wait and make sure we get three. Okay, we got three. Yeah, I don't know, man. It must be bugged or something. Well, that didn't help us out a whole lot. You know what I think I'm going to do then is I'm going to just hand mine some copper. I'll do that off camera. 
Uh, so where's the next closest? That's a paraffinium. That's, ooh, that's a long ways off there. Is there something closer? Dollar, paraffinium. That one's 431 units away. Anything closer than that? 480, that's actually even further. Silver, okay. All right, let's test this out. Wow. Did that not do any? Oh yeah, it did. Hmm, I was expecting that to do a little more damage than just that. You know, we should bring some meat back to the base too. Do we did we get meat uh, for cooking purposes? Those other guys took off, didn't they? I don't blame them. Okay. Oh, I just about fell in a hole there. Okay, we want this guy here. I should probably... Is there a way to hotkey your your tool? That didn't sound good. <laughs> Everybody get your mind out of the gutter. Uh, <laughs> so I can well, I guess it's already hotkeyed, it's just that it's it's a cycle though. Um, okay, make sure we're on the smallest thing. We got some mega mining upgrades on this thing, though, so we should get a nice chunk of copper. All right, anyways, I'm going to mine this up, you guys, and meet you back at the base. All right, guys, I am back. It is actually the next day for me in real life uh, because I had to quit, stop uh, the recording yesterday and go to work. Um, so I am finally getting off of uh, almost a three-week straight uh, stint uh, with work and uh, I'm taking a couple days off and just gonna enjoy some no man's sky and Relax for a couple days before I have to jump back into the grind uh, All right, so before I started the camera I went out and just gathered some more resources and I got a whole crap ton of, of carbon Among other things, so let's move all this carbon into here And you know, yeah, like I said lots of stuff so that's all carbon there. Uh, we got some more. I also got some more copper, which I want to turn at least half of the copper that we got into uh, chromatic metal, because we seem to be running out of that a lot. Let's take this ferrite dust here, and we will turn that into uh, just some metal plating. Um, so we'll go here. Just make as many metal platings as we can. As we're gonna need those for some more upgrades that we're gonna do. Okay, let's um I also picked some of the peas or bean thingies. Have we already done these? Oh yeah, that's the one that turns into into chocolate. Okay. Uh, so we got that done. Um oh there's another thing I wanna do too. I got this meat here. And I want to, uh, I want to see, you know, uh, what what that what we can make with that. Uh, let's go to the exosuit here. We've got a couple of geodes uh, that just gives us more ferrite. So let's turn uh, those into more plates. Okay, and then the rest of these, uh, or this ferrite rather, we will turn into. Uh, condensed ferrite. Right. Just to just to kind of clean it up a little bit, and it looks like I've made some more of these as well. Um, I discovered something. If you if you just click on this and press X, it immediately goes into your inventory. So it's just a little quicker than 
um, you know, then dragging it in there, which is kind of nice. And yeah, so just click and X, and boom, it's in. I'm assuming it puts it just straight into my exosuit inventory. Yeah, it looks like it does. Okay. So let's do this. Um, let's grab that. So if we make a, what does meaty chunks give us? Okay, so that just gives us processed meat. Uh, let's just make one of those, because I want to see if we can combine it with some of the other ingredients we have to discover a recipe. Um, okay, so if we go, what does raw steak give us? Looks like it's the same thing. What if we combine raw steak with meaty chunks? Oh, all right, cool, look at that. So so we, we learned a recipe here. Um, so let's make that, and then we can take one of these up to the, to the anomaly and turn it into that one dude for some kind of reward. I don't know if we get nanites or if he gives us more recipes or what. Another thing I want to look at too is if we go into here, uh, catalog and guide, and we go to recipes. We go to cooking recipes. Um, why does that not show? Oh, it does. Okay. It does show the meat stew. So once we discover stuff, it's cataloged here. Man, there's. Oh, look at. My goodness, there's like a ton of food recipes. Well, yeah. I mean, there's, what, six, there's eight pages of food recipes. That is awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, we'll definitely need to get it, get our culinary on here for sure. Uh, okay, let's grab that. And uh, um, now I want to see if, if we go here, uh, let's grab all these other food ingredients that we have. And can we discover something else? So what if we put like normal meat and oh, you know what though? I think we need to we need to process the sweet root uh, first down into sugar because that's another raw. And you know, eventually, whether we do it on like a freighter or a permanent base or probably both in the long run, uh, you know, we'll get a we'll get a farm going too. And I definitely see the advantage of doing that. Okay, what am I doing? Um, going here while we're waiting for that let's put this mordite in here and we have some more salvage glass that we can pop open and I want to put the chromatic metal in here the copper extra copper okay here, here let's click this and let's press C to do a quick split and so we're going to take half of our copper and we're going to turn it into even more chromatic metal because it seems like you need chromatic metal almost more than anything else. It's like a hugely used resource. So we'll get that one going there. I had a weird bug. I logged in to the game and all of my refiners and my... my uh, terminus thingy here was gone they just they weren't there <laughs> they weren't even invisible because I walked over here and there was nothing so I relogged and then they came back so I don't know something weird about that oh uh, also I had asked and again maybe some of you guys have answered this question I just haven't seen it in the comments yet I'm um, a little bit ahead of you guys um, but I asked what the difference was between where was that thing uh, this save beacon here and the save technology. Where is that other thing? That this save point. And I believe the difference is that this you put in your base. And that's your save point. Whereas the beacon, this is something you can actually put out in the wild and then it marks. It's basically a beacon and it's also, as it says, a portable waypoint marker. Um, so that's kind of cool. So I took the one that I had in here and I and I put it out this way. So if you see that little star right there, uh, that's my save beacon. I probably could have renamed that too, but I got that out there on that uh, copper deposit where we have the autonomous miner going, uh, which I have, of course, refreshed and refilled as well. Okay, so um, let's go back over here. 
and we got the sugar. Okay, so if we combine uh, meaty chunks with, say, cocoa, yeah, I, don't, I have no idea what that would make. How about with sugar? Nope. Okay, how about with root juice? Okay, how about root juice and flour? No? Okay. How about root juice and sugar? Okay, let's take this back out. What if we put cooked meat in there? No? 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 None of that works. Okay. So we're probably just going to have to keep getting um, more variety of foods and just keep experimenting with this. And again, maybe the dude at the up at the space station will give us some recipes too. I don't mind that. Uh, what I don't want to do, at least right now, is I don't want to get on a wiki and just learn them all. I want to try and discover some of them. M no, probably not all of them, but some of them, you know, so at least we can feel like we made somewhat of an effort uh, in the, you know, that exploration aspect of the game. Okay, let's put all this food stuff in here. Uh, no, not that. Uh, we want to take one of these up to the spa uh, up to the anomaly, and then we'll leave the rest in there. Oh, and by the way, what buff does this give us? Highly food to to to. Why isn't it giving us a... Here we go. Consume. Exosuit nutrient system will provide 15 seconds of sprint overload. That's pretty useful, actually. Yeah, we'll take it. All right. Um, uh, let's see. You guys are already done with that chromatic metal? All right. For here, we're going to put... Uh, let's just get that going and pick a little bit more of that stuff up. And um, let's go back to our exosuit. Okay, I want to... Um, I want... Let's crack these open next to see what we get. Okay, so we got a hydraulic wiring and sentinel weapons shard. Wow, look at that. 960 nanites and an exosuit fragment. You know, we're doing pretty good getting nanites. I'd kind of like to see what these give us. So let's do an install here. Oh, we need to have another conversation, too. Um, and again, if you guys have mentioned this in the comments, I thank you very much for the comments. But uh, I went ahead and watched uh, a couple of YouTube videos to try and figure out the best way to use adjacent bonuses. And here's what I learned. If you, uh, first of all, you want to put your most powerful item and that's not necessarily the tech it could be one of the you know one of the modules or the tech but you want to put your most powerful item in the supercharged slot if you look over here we have a current damage potential of 8723 which is enormous uh, that's a huge huge damage potential because i have the scatter blaster in the supercharged slot now watch this if i re remove this out of that supercharged slot it drops by about 60 percent which is an, an enormous, <laughs> an enormous uh, change in power. So these super charge, charge slots are very cool. Now, what I learned though about the adjacent bonuses is that what you want to do is you want to, first of all, you want to put your most powerful item, um, whether that's the tech itself or one of the, um, you know, the modules in the supercharge slot. And that's not always necessarily going to be the tech itself. It could be, you know, uh, one of these items. And, you know, if for in this particular case, you can tell immediately tell the effectiveness of it by just looking at this damage potential. So if I take and put um, the irregular capacity, it bumps it up to 54, but it's still nowhere near as good as it was when I had this in here. If I take the shell greaser, again, it bumps it up a little bit, but nowhere near as good. So if I, so we definitely want the scatter blaster itself into the supercharged slot and we get an enormous, like about a 60%, I would say, ish boost in damage, which is huge. Now, um, the second rule is you, you generally want a box formation and you want to make sure that you put the items with the most 
uh, they're the most powerful next to each other because they give each other a bonus. And again, they don't necessarily have to be adjacent to the actual tech that they're affecting. Um, the idea is that if I have two really powerful, um, in this case, S-Class items, I want those together because they give each other a bonus. Now, with mining, you can't, you know, we don't have any direct numbers to tell how effective they are. But one thing I did do is I put the optical drill. Notice that the optical drill normally gives us 50% in, increase for resources mined. Um, but if I put it in the supercharge slot, then that bumps that up to 88%, which is, a, again, a huge increase. I can't really tell um, by moving any of these other things around, you know, what the best arrangement is going to be. Um, so I'm, I'm just basically leaving it at this arrangement for the moment. Okay, now let's go back to here. Notice that if I take the shell greaser now and I move it, you know, right now we have 87.23. If I move it down to here, it drops down to 82.90. Um, and that's because this 50% minus uh, less reload time um, is now affecting this and not this. But if I put it here and it affects this, then it increases our damage because it's factoring in the fact that because I can reload this 50% faster, it's giving us more DPS damage per second. And if I move this over to, to here, see, then it drops down again so because the bonus that these two are giving each other is not as effective as the bonus that these two are giving each other. So it's really cool, you know, now that I kind of understand that um, and, you know, kind of mess around with it. Now, of course, you know, we could do the same kind of thing with the scanners, but this scanner here does not have any impact whatsoever on range because if I move it out of here we still have 226 range but once we get other uh, modules that affect scanner range then we can play around with that too okay so very cool and now that we know that you know we will we will uh, set things up accordingly but look at <laughs> 87 20, that's just huge damage uh, very happy with that okay we got a lot of stuff to do before I wrap up this episode um, and I want to I want to get it all in this episode because I really want to do some exploration in the next episode um, anyway, let's go ahead and go back to here now. Uh, I know we can get a decent amount of nanites for these, but I want to see what they, they are. Okay, so let's install this um, non-compliant generator. And uh, if, so if we just put it here. Oh, I need to do a little bit of rearranging of our rocket packs too, because they're all in a line. We want to try and get them in a square config. The problem though here is I don't have a lot of room here in my... Um, my exosuit we, we we just need to continue working on unlocking slots that's really important okay this gives us fuel efficiency and shield strength that gives us shield strength and sprint distance so if we put these together this has a different it has a border around it now but it's got a different colored border huh Oh, that's a turbo slot. That's why. Okay. Uh, I think I want to keep my life support in the turbo slot. I'd rather have, have the life support in there. Uh, but again, I, there's no direct way, at least not on this screen, to tell how that's affecting things. We just know that if we put this in the turbo slot, it is going to be more effective. If I move this over to here... Okay, so now these two are giving each other a bonus, which is great. Uh, so we have better sprint distance and better shield strength and better fuel efficiency. Uh, with fuel efficiency, though, you would think that would be... We would want that here. Um, where is our other supercharge slot? Or do we only have... One? I think maybe we've only unlocked one supercharge slot so far. And again, life support's kind of the biggest pain in the butt right now, so we'll keep that in there. We don't need this at all until we go to a... A frozen planet but I want to keep it in the ship so that we can use it when the time comes so I'm wondering if we take this shield lattice and put it over here and move 237 airborne recharging okay right uh, those are the rocket boots Um, okay, I'm going to move this down here because we purchased this oxygen 
rerouter, and I want to put that next to this. Uh, we also need to make the personal refiner. What does this do? That gives us 10% on life support tanks. Um, yeah, the problem here again is I just don't have a lot of room to play with. So here's what I'm thinking though. Why don't we do this? Why don't we move you to here and you to here so we get these guys in a square. Put these guys over here like so. Put the life support. Well, no, we want to keep the life support in the turbocharged slot. Okay, now let's make this oxygen rerouter. So we need chromatic, one quantum, and six crystal sulfite. Um, change stack size. There we go. Okay, so there's the six crystal sulfite. Um, let's grab the chromatic metal out of here. I'm going to throw... Well, here, no. Let's turn that ferrite dust into more of these. Because we seem to need a bunch of those for various things. Okay, back to this. We got the crystal sulfite... Uh, what are we working on? We're working on the exosuit. And we need to make one quantum computer. Okay. Wait, do we have one of those? I don't think we do. No, it doesn't look like it. I got some other stuff that I need to put back into my inventory, too. Uh, but... <clears throat> I want to get these upgrades done, like I said, before the end, of the end of the episode, so I'll take care of inventory management and stuff like that later, off camera. Okay, so we need to make the quantum computer, so that requires um, antimatter. And for antimatter, we need some condensed carbon. Okay, so we should have a bunch of condensed carbon there. Okay, so now let's make an antimatter. And now let's make a quantum computer. And now we should be able to make the oxygen rerouter. Okay, so this... <clears throat> oh no, that's for the aeration membrane. Oh shoot. I mean, that's not bad, but... Uh, I should have paid more attention to that. Oh, gone it. That's not really what I wanted to make. Um, I think it... I mean, we'll make this too. But it, let's at least make this. So we need 60 oxygen. Oh, uh, man, I should have paid more attention to that. I thought that was something else. Oh, well, it's what it is. It's not a waste. We will, you know, want to put that to use later. But um, let's at least do this, so now we have 10% more capacity in our life support. Um, I guess what we could do here, I, no, you know what, I want this personal refiner, but let's make the, this too, so we need some silver, whoops, silver and copper. Um, silver, no, wrong one. Okay, so let's just grab some silver and some copper. Go back to here and okay so we got that for underwater but we're out of slots so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just um, store uh, yeah store technology I'm just gonna keep these in storage and until I'm you know go out and do water stuff Quick transfer. Okay, so let's just put these in storage. And what I want to do here is I want to make this onboard um, personal refiner. So we need some chromatic metal. That way we can refine stuff in our suit, which is going to be super useful. And we really desperately need to work on getting more um, upgrades too. 
Uh, okay, so install this. There, now we can refine in our backpack. That's going to be super useful uh, when we're out and about, especially if we're mining by hand, like copper, we can just start making um, chromatic metal as we go. Okay, so exosuit, uh, what is this? This is a weapons shard, so let's crack this open. Um, and so this does reload time, fire rate, and damage. It doesn't seem to bonus the scatter blaster uh, because it's not yeah 87 23 it doesn't affect the scatter blaster I think it'll affect this though but we can't the scatter blaster is our most powerful weapon so it, we still don't see that however learning what we learned um, let's put this up here that up there so those guys are together and we will put these in a square configuration for our bolt caster. Reload time, damage. Reload time. I. Uh, I feel these two should be together, but again, there's no way for me to really measure that. Okay. Speaking of exo tool, the next thing I want to do is I want to make the plasma launcher and I want to make the survey device. Um, so let's do the plasma launcher first. We're going to need an amino chamber, a wiring loom, and a hermetic seal. Uh, let's just put all these wiring looms over here. Oh, we, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. We have one more of these. Okay, what is this? Impossible obliterator. Okay, so I would I would venture to say that all of these next to our bolt caster bolt caster is gonna make our bolt caster quite a bit more effective, which I know is kind of an obvious statement, but I said it anyway. Okay, now let's work on this advanced survey device. Uh, we need three magnetic resonators. Um, we have none of those. Okay, so to make the magnetic resonators, we need. Ionized cobalt and magnetized ferrite. A total of 120 to be precise. You know what? Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go mine up some cobalt. You can see that right now. That's a 2 to 1 ratio. Yep. Okay. So we will have to do the analysis visor later. Um... Oh, interesting. Okay, so it installs it. It's just not active yet because it needs more stuff. Okay. Well, let's um, let's leave that in place for now. Um, next, I want to... Oh, we have a personal force field. That's right. We did get that. Uh, we should maybe think about doing that. We do have this waveform recycler, which also needs magnetized ferrite and an ion battery. Um, let's grab what we have, and I have ion batteries in here. Okay, so we can we make this uh, waveform recycler? No, we need more magnetized ferrite. Okay, so let's grab half of this pure ferrite. make the magnetized version of it. That's a two to one ratio. Okay, so we got that going. Um, and what I want to do for these is again we want these in a square so let's move the scanner to here that to there and then we'll install this in that slot once we have the magnetized ferrite and then that should increase our scanner range right yeah scan radius plus 11 and let it recharge more quickly okay while we're waiting for that let's do the plasma launcher uh, so we need a hermetic seal and an amino chamber. 
I know we have a hermetic seal in here. Right here. Okay, so that's done. What do we need for the amino chamber? That is this guy. So we need chlorine. Okay, I think we have some chlorine in here. Not a ton, but some. Right there. Okay, and now if we go to our multi-tool, let's craft ourselves a plasma launcher. Okay, now the plasma launcher requires unstable plasma as fuel. So let's go here and make unstable plasma. How many of these can we make? Two. I don't know how long that lasts. And we need more oxygen. Oh, we are super low on oxygen. You know what we need to do, now that I think about it? Um, we need to make the oxygen thingy. Which is... Where is that thing at? Oxygen harvester. So we need life support gel and dihydrogen jelly. Grab some dye high here. And do we have any jellies in here already? Uh, it does not look like it. Okay. Let's look at that again. Uh, we need. Looks like we're going to need a total of eight jellies because we need the jellies for the life support. So let's do that first. Okay, and then we have one life support gel. We need a total of five of those. Is that what that was? Uh, yes, so we need to make four more. Okay, now um, this thing that we're going to set down needs to be on on terrain. You can't put it like on, on wood. So, oh, we got a new milestone. What do we get here? Adventurer! Nice! Okay, go away. Those things pop up at the most inconvenient time. Alright, we want to change this to the flattener. And we're just gonna kind of flatten a little spot here. That's, eh, that's actually good enough. Okay, so let's go back there. Now, we go into here, we grab the oxygen harvester. And I don't know what direction is the right direction. Maybe this way? I'm not really sure. And let's plop that down there. Okay, now, does this require power? Integrity to the atmospheric filtering technology at the heart of the exosuit life support system. Other planetary life, maybe skin. Oh no, that's talking about oxygen itself. Generator coupling. Charged with carbon or condensed carbon. Okay, so we do need to charge it. Oh, that's, that's actually pretty fast. Okay, nice. Uh, we might even, maybe we'll even make a second one of those later, but we'll start with that one. Okay, good. So now we have a supply of oxygen um, coming along. We wanted to, 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 to um, I wanted to make some more of the unstable plasmas. And oh yeah, because we needed oxygen for that, okay. And let's grab some more ferrite dust. How about if we make five of those in total? Uh, so three, 
three of those. Okay, and then we should be able to make... Oh, we ran out of O2. Well, no, actually, we have O2 out here. We can pull out. I don't know if it'll be enough, but we'll see. Enough to make one more... Oh, we're short three. <laughs> okay. Oh, we already got five. Look at that. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. We'll go back to Exosuit and make one more of those. Okay, so I don't have any modules. What are we missing? Oh, I forgot to install the Hermetic Seal. Okay, so I don't have any modules for this at present, but there is one that I think we can get up at the anomaly. But basically, this is a grenade launcher. Very cool. Okay, so now we have a plasma grenade launcher. We are making improvements, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely making improvements. What are we waiting for on this? Uh, I think we were waiting for... Oh, no, that's the one I got to farm up the cobalt for. So I'll do that off camera and get that going later. All right, the last thing I think we want to do is we want to... We, you know, we're going to have to do the Exocraft in, a, in a new ep another episode. There's just We just don't have time. Uh, but I want to make the shotgun for the Starship. Um, so uh, the Positron uh, Itron Ejector, and we already have the ability to do that. So there we go. Now, I'm thinking, too, though, that I would like this in a turbocharged slot. So... Um, I think I have the rockets in the turbocharged slot. Yes, I do. Is that the only turbocharged slot we have? I th think so, because it's flashing. Is it, wait, wait, is that right? Uh, let's go to the multi-tool. Yeah, the turbocharged slots pulsate. It's kind of hard to see here, but uh, that helps us see which one's actually turbocharged. Okay, so right now we have our uh, our rocket launcher in there. And this thing does definitely pack a punch. But I'm wondering if we should put the Positron in there instead. And we also have this Fragment Supercharger, which also requires magnetic resonators, which means we have even more Cobalt that we need to farm. Yeah, okay. All right, so that puts us pretty much at a standstill for finishing this. Um, but what I'm thinking is we move those up there, we put this here, and then we'll put... Uh, we can even ins uh, install it right now. But it's not active until we, we finish building it. And that will get our starship uh, a little more a little more punch. Now, this is not a fighter ship. So, you know, we're not going to really have a real badass ship until we get into a fighter ship, which will happen at some point. Uh, but it is, you know, it's just kind of where we are right now with everything. All right, you guys. I, uh, I've packed a whole lot of stuff into this episode. I'll try and edit it down as much as possible. And it seems like... You know, my episodes lately have been about an hour long. Some of you like hour-long episodes, some of you don't. But, you know, it's just, it is what it is. It doesn't make sense for me to, to split it up into two episodes. So it is what it is, like I just said. Um, so with that being said, uh, we're going to wrap up this episode. I'm going to do a, a bunch of off-camera farming. Obviously, we need to get cobalt. I'm just going to gear, uh, you know, get a bunch of other resources geared up, too. Uh, when we come back in the next episode, what we'll do is we'll head up to the Anomaly... And um, I'm going to get the upgrade for uh, for the plasma launcher. And we're going to turn in our our soup to the dude up there and see, you know, what happens there. Turn in some more milestone data and then just, you know, go from there. Um, I don't think we're going to get to exploring in the next episode. But I will try really, really hard to get back to exploring and working on, on our quests in two episodes from now we're just it's just too much to do but that all being said i hope you guys are really enjoying the series i am very much enjoying uh being back into no man's sky and re-familiarizing myself with the game and learning all of the new stuff 
and uh, it's just fantastic. Okay, guys, with that being said, we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.